how to edit mobile menus on WordPress. Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can edit the mobile menu on your WordPress site and how you can do that with the simple WordPress editor as well as Elementor if you are using Elementor for your WordPress site building. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. To do this, simply head on over into your WordPress dashboard. And once you're on your WordPress dashboard, you are going to click on visit site on the top left. Now I'm using the latest version of WordPress. And when you click on edit site on the top left, this is the WordPress template editor that you are going to see. Now, as you guys can see, the template editor displays the laptop or the desktop version for me. To edit this, I am going to click on the top right over here where it shows this laptop icon and I'm going to change it to the mobile version. Once I have changed it to the mobile version, I can uh, play around with the header and the navigation menu as I want it to. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back over here. We're gonna go back. We went to back, so I'm gonna click on edit site again and i'm just going to open up the mobile template so just opening up the mobile version now once you have the mobile version opened up you can see your header and you can also customize the placements as well as you know move to the top or to the bottom of your site if you want to you know move it around a little i am going to take my header move it to the top and then you can select the navigation menu within your header and you can choose how you want it to be placed. If you want it in, a, in the form of a grid, if you want it in the form of columns, if you want it, you know, grouped or uh, transformed otherwise. Now, even within your logos and within your menu, you can customize the logo into different columns. So I have customized this into stacks, but I want everything to be stacked together then after that you can also choose to orient all of the items however you like so i want to space them in between i'm going to create a larger section like this and now i have this menu item over here and you guys can see this is the overall appearance of the mobile version now if i convert this into the desktop version it's going to look different now, obviously you want to customize this to whatever your personal preference is. This just totally depends on the personal preference that you have. However, one thing to keep in mind is that the alterations that you make on the desktop version are applied to the mobile version. However, when you make alterations in the mobile version, you can ensure that those are not placed or those are not applied to the actual desktop version of your site just to make sure that everything looks nice and clear once you have decided how you like your navigation menu just click on save on the top right and then once you click on save you have the newly customized header or navigation menu and you can customize this further for the uh, desktop version now this is how you can do this for the wordpress editor However, if you are using something like Elementor and you want to use that to customize your site, simply go on ahead. We're going to first install the Elementor plugin. So go into plugins and click on add new plugin, search for Elementor. And I definitely do think that Elementor makes it really easy because with WordPress's native editor, it does uh, customize the sizes and, you know, they are linked together. So it becomes really difficult to customize. However, if we open up the same thing with Elementor, so we're just going to install Elementor over here. Once you have installed Elementor, you guys can see your entire Elementor editor, but you can just click on visit site over here, click on edit site, and you do have the option to edit with Elementor over here now. You should have this option where you can customize with Elementor. I'm going to wait for this, edit our site. And I'm just going to use a Elementor template page to do this as well, because that's just going to make it easier. I'll just create a sample page. And once we open up the Elementor editor, you will see your navigation panel on the top. Now, by default, uh, this does not create a option to customize the header and footer. So if you want to add that option, you're going to again 
search for Elementor in your plugins and you have the Elementor header and footer plugin. This one over here, you're going to install this. And once you click on install, you're going to click on activate. Once you click on activate, you will see this is now installed and you can click on appearance. In your appearance, you're going to find the Elementor header and footer builder, and you can add a new template for headers and footers for the mobile version. You can go on ahead and I'm just going to skip these setup questions and you can add your basic header. So we're going to add our basic header and I want this to be my header. I want to display this on my entire website and I want this for all users. And I'm just going to click on edit with Elementor over here. And once you click on edit with Elementor, this will open up the Elementor navigation or header editor. So once you do that on the left, you can search for your navigation menu and you're going to drag and drop your navigation menu over here. You're going to choose the navigation menus that, you know, choose the navigation menu that you want to use. So I just want this to be a simple flex box. And once I have created a container, I can go ahead and go into the navigation menu on top like so. Oh, currently we don't have a menu, so I'm going to have to customize that as well. We're going to exit back. We're going to go into our themes and then we have to build our simple header and you can create your own navigation menus and insert them and customize those templates. So for that, you do have to, you know, build your own menu items and structure them however you want and you can customize those further. Within Elementor, you guys can see this has a simple short code. Now with that, you're just going to copy the short code and you can go into visit site. Once you go into visit site and click on edit site, you can remove the default header that is present for the desktop version of your site. And you can replace that with this particular short code. And the short code is then going to act as a header display using the changes you made with Elementor. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to edit your mobile menus. One thing I would recommend is that you always check it on the mobile device. So just open up your own WordPress site on a mobile device. When you do that, you have a really nice visual element and you can actually see what it's going to look like as the users use it. So make sure to do that as well to ensure that the menu looks seamless and you can play around and edit on your mobile device as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.